Hello everyone. I thought it would be interesting to take a look at the ongoing Herson counter-offensive by looking at three maps and seeing the differences shown in terms of territory gained. So we're going to start with this map here, from the Twitter account Ukraine War Map. This one shows the Ukraine push here and that a number of villages, Berzimene, Shichelvi, Kostronka and Bruskinska, are now contested. Ukraine has established a bridgehead over the Inyhets River and is engaged in fighting in these areas. However, looking at Deep States' war map, we can see a different situation is shown. Bruskinska, for example, is shown as still Russian controlled rather than contested. I believe the differences in the two maps comes down to where they source their info. Deep States, I believe, relies on official sources only which makes it more accurate, but slower to update. Warmapper and a few others use videos and troop reports and that sort of thing, which makes them quicker to update the situation, but there's always the chance that the information is wrong or the information suddenly changes and say the troops filming in one area suddenly have to retreat and that area is now, you know, back in Russian hands, that sort of thing. But either way, this area appears to be the main area of the Ukrainian push. Now, what are the Russians saying? Now here, we also have a Russian claim from Telegram. This one, very close to the War Map Twitter account, saying that Ukrainian forces have advanced just a little past Kostromka. They put in the Ukrainian advance as being slightly ahead of where Ukrainian War Mapper puts them, but it's very close, the difference of like a few hundred metres or a kilometre or so. So those two are quite similar. So there we have it. Three different sources, each showing the Ukrainian advance in Herson, as reaching different positions. I thought it worth seeing just to see how difficult it is to get an actual clear picture of just what is happening on the ground from, you know, Twitter sources and websites and that sort of thing. Two of these sources, Deep States and War Mapper, are generally considered accurate and trustworthy but both show different levels of advance. The third one isn't considered trustworthy at all, but weirdly shows Ukraine as advancing even further. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you can, click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.